guys, in this video we are going to be looking at the radial uh, gradient property in CSS3. Uh, similar to the linear gradient property we looked at in my last video, except that instead of the gradient being a straight linear line, it's going to be uh, a circle or technically an ellipse shape. So let's get started. Uh, just like my last video, I created this empty box. I've got a div with an ideal box an empty div inside my body tags and within my styles tag I've got this ID box with a width, height, border and margin as you can see which creates this box. Okay I'm going to say background uh, instead of linear I'm going to say radial this time, radial gradient with uh, brackets and the most simple simplest radial gradient you can create is just by adding two colors, so green with a comma and yellow and there we go. Uh, by default it's going to be this ellipse shape like a squashed uh, circle and uh, the first color is going to be at the center and the second color is going to be outside of it so we've got this green center with a yellow outside. Uh, just like the linear gradient you can add a third color in the middle or technically in the middle or at the back or at the front doesn't really matter but I'm going to put this blue at the middle and basically this creates this like center green color with a blue uh, hmm, what's this a donut shape and a yellow outside now uh, for simplicity purposes I'm just going to be using two colors for this video so I'm going to go back to using green and yellow okay just like linear gradient you can actually set percentage and pixels to each of these colors so let's say like 10 percent and 90 percent like so it hasn't changed much but if i say like 40 percent and like 60 percent hmm, that creates like a bigger more uh strong green compared to the yellow and i think if i change this to bigger than 50 percent it's going to turn into like a just a green is not going to go into a gradient so I'm just going to keep it to like a 20% to 80% ratio which creates a nice gradient effect. Okay uh, the next thing you want to do is I'm just going to delete this because I want to keep things simple so green yellow with a comma and come back whoops come on come back there we go okay uh, we could actually set the position of this uh, circle or ellipse by default it's at the center we could actually set it to be top left top right bottom left bottom right uh, for this to uh, work in uh, modern browsers including the google chrome i'm using i need to add my vendor, vendor prefix so i'm going to say webkit radio gradient and i am going to say uh, top uh, left top left green yellow and if i refresh the green is going to be starting from the top left and as you can see it's still this uh, circle effects although you can only see a quarter of the circle because the rest is outside of the box. Now uh, you can actually also state instead of it being top left, top right and so on you can actually state the position of where it's going to start like 10 pixel, 10 pixel. And that didn't make too much of a difference because 10 pixel, 10 pixels is basically starting from here. So uh, let me actually quickly change this to bottom right, like so. And that's going to start from the bottom right. And then I'm going to change this to like 30 pixels, 30 pixels. And then what happens is it's going to start from 30 pixels to the left and 30 pixels from the top. So somewhere around here like so although because of the uh, because the green is strong it doesn't really look too much different from starting from the top left most of the circle or three quarters of it is uh, outside of the box because we set uh, the corner to be right at the top left or 30 pixels 30 pixels from the top left however if you want to you can actually uh, set it so that all the circle is contained inside the box and to do that you have to use a word contain so uh, you say contain oops but before that uh, let's change this uh, eclipse uh, to or ellipse to circle so let's say circle first like so and if I re if I refresh it's going to slightly change the uh, what do you call it the rounded corners like so, I'm not sure if you saw the 
movement or the change in the colors because when it changed from ellipse to uh, a circle now after that I could say contain uh, let me put this to the side like so so circle then contain no uh, commas and if I refresh it's going to go into this like circle and as you can see because I started 30 pixels from 30 pixels it's going to be a small circle because it has to be contained inside all the uh, the box. So if I change this from 30 to say 80 pixels to 80 pixels, the circle is going to be slightly bigger because it's going to start or the center point is going to be 80 pixels, 80 pixels for that. So there's more space for the uh, circle to expand to. So uh, that was a quick video on uh, a radio gradient in CSS3. As you can see, uh, I needed to, oops, Come on, I need to add the WebKit in order to be able to do some stuff, say for example the top left or the 80 pixels, 80 pixels stuff, uh, just like the linear gradient in order to uh, be compatible with Moz or the order browser, order versions of Moz, you need Moz, and in order to be uh, compatible with uh, web browsers like Safari, you need the WebKit just like uh, Google Chrome. And also, uh, uh, in my last video, I looked at can I use .org or .com, can I use, uh, and the linear gradient and the radio gradient are both the same. Uh, it doesn't support IE before uh, IE 10.0. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.